We've been teaching and studying a lesson on manifesting health and wealth. And so far that lesson has taken us all the way from quantum physics, study of the smallest that's in creation, to cosmology, the study of the universe and its greatness. I don't even know how to say it. it, it it's eternalness. I mean, it's the awesome size that God could create something so large and things so small, and all of them showing forth his glory and his majesty. Well, this Christmas Day, I want to look at something that's a little more, not the small things, not the greatest things in size in the universe, but something that is so universal. Turn to the Gospel of Luke. In uh, Luke chapter 1, excuse me, Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2 and verse number 14. Well, we'll read 13 and 14. And suddenly there was an angel, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward man. A heavenly host praising no, I didn't even know that 13 verse said that until I just read it. <laughs> what the Lord was just talking to us about, a heavenly host praising him in song and, and worshiping him. What I wanted to, us to look at is in verse 14, it said, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Didn't say toward men said toward men. Well, all men are going to receive that grace and that peace through the man, Christ Jesus. That's who made it available for us. And this is telling us that from the time that Jesus was born, God's plan was completed. Because he calls the end from the beginning. When Christ came into the earth, it was done. God counted him as already sacrificed, as already paying the penalty for all our sin, paying the debt that we owed and could not pay. You know, I like to keep things just kind of on a practical level for me so that I can understand them. And I just see mankind, Adam, breaking the law and being fined. It was a severe fine. And the reason he was fined is because he could not pay the cost of the fine, the penalty. See, the only thing that could pay the, the price for the, 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 the infraction that he made when he broke the God's law of eating from that tree, the only thing that God accepted, the only currency that was acceptable to God was sinless blood. God didn't need any money. All the silver and all the gold was on the earth that he created was his. I mean, I just picture someplace God has a planet that's solid gold. Another one that's just one planet bigger than anything we can imagine that's just one solid diamond. I mean, it shows us in the scriptures that he loves beauty and he created beauty. Isn't the foundation of, of, of the New Jerusalem, isn't it made with stones? And he talks about silver and he talks about gold and he put gold in the garden. But Adam couldn't go and get any gold. 
to pay the fine. He needed sinless blood. And since the blood comes through the male, every person born from Adam on, turn to Genesis chapter 5. And start reading in verse 1. It says, this is the book of the generation of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam. In the day they were created. See, what happened, God created one man. And that one man was male and female. And that's why they were both named Adam. Actually, we're not going to get into it, but Eve was named Eve after the fall. Adam named her Eve. What did God say her name was? Adam. It's not supposed to be any man over woman in superiority. God just made the man with a greater responsibility. Didn't say he was better. I'm going to choose one of you to run things. You're the one. <laughs> and ever since Jesus, that's the way it's supposed to be. Man is not over the woman. Man has just been given authority. He's been given responsibility. And I always like to remind the men that you can pass on the duty. You can't pass on the responsibility. You guys get the picture of that? It's your responsibility. Well, my wife made, why did you choose her for a wife? You're the one responsible. It's going to come back to you every way you, any way you figure it is going to come back to you. That's not why we're here. Let's say, let's say we're running down a rabbit trail. Verse 3. And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son. He ought to circle this in his own likeness. Now, Adam was created in the likeness of God. God is sinless, and Adam was just like God. But now once Adam sinned, he created offsprings in his own likeness. He was a dead man giving birth to dead things. People see all of these zombie pictures and wonder if they're Really could be zombies, yes, a world full of them. I don't believe we have any in here. <laughs> but it's a world full of zombies. They're dead things. That's why if you understand, Jesus was the second man. Who was the first man? And Jesus was the second man? Well, you explain to me what all those things were between Adam and Jesus. 